After almost four months of war in Gaza, Israel is waiting for an answer from Hamas on the latest offer for a hostage deal. There are still 136 Israeli hostages left in Gaza, and Israeli leaders are under pressure to get them out. But Hamas does not want to release them unless Israel first agrees to a permanent ceasefire and allows Hamas to stay in power in Gaza. Both demands are non-starters for Israel at this time. Meanwhile, the upcoming U.S. elections are starting to impact the conflict in Gaza. The Biden administration is pressing Israel to commit to a future Palestinian state as part of a wider agreement to end the war, but this is not sitting well with most Israelis. And even Saudi Arabia does not seem to be pushing hard for a Palestinian state right now. Apparently, they would accept a long-term truce in Gaza in exchange for normalization with Israel. Since Riyadh is more interested in the American security guarantees they would receive as part of a three-way package deal with Israel and the U.S. Finally, U.S. mediators are reporting some progress on convincing Hezbollah to pull back its forces from the Lebanese border with Israel. Israel has insisted that if diplomatic efforts fail to persuade Hezbollah to withdraw beyond the Litani River, the IDF will be ordered to go in and push them back by force, risking a wider regional conflict. So please pray for the safe return of the remaining Israeli hostages and for Israeli leaders to have wisdom on how to proceed in both Gaza and on the northern border.